uh hello traders this is orlando for trading more and welcome to today's daily edge um there has been a lot of uh, development um uh, and there has been a lot of uh, breaking news coming out of uh, the wires and uh, that's why we're going to start with my news terminal all right uh first of all we're going to talk about uh president trump and his uh, threats on uh, iraq and china uh, iran and china uh here president iran's president says trump backed off on his threats again against the iran after seeing unity amongst iranian nations uh um and uh, china has not well trump woke up today uh tweeting that uh, uh there was going to be a united uh, a u.s china meeting at the g20 in japan and uh, china replied that uh, that china has no information on that meeting that president trump tweeted about so uh, again uh, he was fact checked and he was caught on a blunt delay uh which is uh well the normal status on the out of the white house <laughs> uh these years right um another news uh, well we're not going to focus on the uh trump's lies all right uh but uh what we are going to focus actually is uh breaking news out of the uk guys after after we got after the uh the uk got uh, the extension on brexit uh all brexit news uh shut down we haven't had any bre uh, breaks and uh, news on the brexit or i'm sorry any news on brexit for a while now and today uh, my uh, my my news platform is filled with brexit news all right so uh if you take a closer look to the upper left side of my screen right here where it says global that is where we are going to be um uh reading the news all right so uh, we're going to go uh down down because we're going to start by the first one that hit the wires all right uh uk finance minister so the f i think yeah um was about uh about an hour ago that um yep it was about an hour ago that uh uh, right here at 5.23 a.m. my time. So about uh, an hour and a half ago that uh, this news hit the wire. Breaking PM uh, made to make a statement on new Brexit offers to MPs. All right. So basically, uh, Theresa May is going to ad address uh, the, um, um, uh, the House today and offer them... Uh, her new uh, version of a Brexit deal. Now, after this news hit the wires, of course, there were some responses out of uh, the House, and that's what we're going to be reading about, all right? So, uh, UK Finance Minister Hammond says no deal Brexit could have an unpredictable, potentially significant effect on UK economy. So, basically, um, by... Um, reading this um, breaking news we or this uh, comment uh we acknowledge that uh, the no deal brexit is still on the table which will be disastrous for the pound and that would shrink the uk economy considerably in a very small period of time so uh uh as you can see if we go up 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 there's a lot of noise coming out of uh of the uk about brexit for example uk opposition labor party's mcdonald's says regardless of what pm may offer on brexit there is an overri overriding problem with longer term stability of conservative party so basically the uk opposition's labor uh, Paris McDonald says he doesn't think Labour lawmakers will back PM's Brexit offer again. Um, if this happens, uh, it would be um, it's going to be a crazy ride for the pound because. Uh, well, you're going to see afterwards. I already know because uh, I've been I've been reading about it for an hour and a half. But uh, I mean, uh, the new deal that Theresa May is going to offer is uh, far better, right? And more conservative. And uh, if uh, uh, if uh, Labour lawmakers don't back Theresa May's uh, deal, I think that that would be the 
end of a possibility of a soft Brexit. Well, not the end of the possibility of a soft Brexit, but it would be close to that. All right. Now let's continue reading about about this. So, ITV political editor tweets. Under 10 p.m. to brief non-cabinet ministers at 2 p.m. and then statement to House follows this after afternoon. So uh, we might be hearing about uh, we might be hearing from uh, uh, Prime Minister May in about two hours' time, and uh, we will be uh, rock and ready for what's coming on the pound, right? Now uh, we are going to focus on the, um, the yellow news, which are the most important news. When an important news hits the hits uh, hits my uh, news terminal, it comes in yellow because it blinks. I mean, the background blinks red. All right. Uh, so uh, don't mistake the red. Uh, uh, the, well, the red uh, the red uh, uh, news are important, but not as the yellow ones. All right. So uh, let's read a little bit about a little more about Brexit here. You came. PMA spokesman says cabinet discussed new deal on Brexit to be presented in Parliament today. Uh, we already know that. Let's see. A UK PMA spokesman says new deal includes alternative arrangements, you know, to uh, to accommodate uh, conservatives, uh, workers' rights for the Labour Party, environmental protections and assurances on the integrity of UK in event of backstop. All right. All right, so basically a better and improved deal is being announced by a PMA spokesperson. So uh, if um, labor lawmakers really don't um, back this deal, it's going to be very, very, but very hard um, for Theresa May to uh, pass any kind of deal. And... Uh, for the possibility of a soft Brexit later this year. Uh, the UK PM's May spokesperson says PM will set out further details in a speech this afternoon at 15 hours GMT. So heads up guys, at 15 hours GMT we will be hearing from Theresa May. Alright? Uh, and the last one, the, the UK PMA spokesperson says no deal remains a plausible outcome and work is ongoing. And the reason that a no deal remains a plausible outcome is because if Labour lawmakers don't back that this deal, I mean, it's going to be very hard for any other deal to be passed uh, in Parliament. So uh, having said that, let's have a look at the pound and, the, what, what, and the, what the pound has been doing. So uh, let's ha take a look at the um, at the GBP versus the US dollar. Now the GBP versus the USD uh, was and had been in a 450, 470 pip down move. All right, and uh, let's go. Uh, in the um, let's go here and when this news hit the wires where the pound started to appreciate against the dollar and it's now up 41 pips against the dollar uh, from the uh, from this area around the um, 2690 level uh, which was the the uh, uh, well the previous base or the previous lows if we go to the daily uh, we can see that there is some kind of a uh, support level going on right here. I'm going to point it out. And uh, because this is not a level that I had on my chart, I'm going to um, draw it in a different color, maybe yellow. Oh, yeah, yellow is fine. Uh, but uh, let me just get rid of these uh, rectangles. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of these rectangles, guys. Gosh. I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, that's it. And uh, here we go. So uh, the, the reason I got rid of this rectangle is because I want to point out that this is, in fact, a big level uh, where the pound bounced from when uh, we heard uh, this news about um, Theresa May addressing the, uh, uh, well, addressing uh, MPs at the, at the UK Parliament later today. Now, big, big buy, I mean, big buy zone here uh, in August 2018, and again 
in um, October 2018 and then big rejection here in uh, January 2019 and again we are at the 29.95 level uh, where we found buyers one more time so uh, let's go back to the hourly chart uh, and um, let's draw some trend lines on the pound we have uh, I mean uh, we were in a very steep bearish uh, in a very steep bearish um, um structure guys and uh, right here we have broken with uh, that very structure and with the previous um highs the reason that i'm not taking a long um a long um trade on the pound right now is because uh the risk versus the reward is just not there so i'm not gonna be chasing this move because uh, uh, i would have to risk around 54 pips in order to make 60 61 pips and uh, that for me is just a risk to reward that um really isn't there all right i need at least a one to two risk to reward scenario to be uh, to feel comfortable with my um trading out uh, my um uh, my profit taking and uh, scaling in and out techniques all right now let's have a look at the pound versus the yen now now the pound versus the yen yesterday we took a short position here right and uh uh well when um um yeah i mean i'm going to go i'm going to thicken this out for you guys um yeah i'm going to show you actually what we did yesterday this is the premium um channel and yesterday we had a uh, short um yep uh let me just uh, go back 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 and uh, yeah i mean uh, we did had a loss of 11 pips but that's fine um because we missed our our um our loss uh we actually had a a, a a sell stop at around 140 well exactly at 1409 right here when we broke with this low and when uh when uh price uh moved again back to us and moved down we moved our stops just right here at 140 20 and we got stopped out and as you know we already broke to the upside and uh, that's a big 100 pip move and um in my in my opinion on the pound versus the yen we have reversed uh we we found here a very important area of support and now we have reversed so what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be waiting for a, a pullback and uh, uh, a pullback on the pound versus the yen for a uh, buy opportunity on a continuation trade all right now this is the pound and uh, what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to have a look at the the xy or the us dollar now if you remember this is the chart that we look all every day on the dxy and if you look closely closely uh right here what happened uh this is the area that we have pointed out yesterday the 161.8 uh, percent retrace uh retracement of uh, the last leg down and the previous highs at around 98.10 and uh, yesterday i told you guys that uh we uh i mean we saw some uh, bearish um uh, activity during uh, the the uh, during early new york session but that we hadn't hit this uh this um area just yet and that area area is the area that was going to be trouble for bulls to break above and what happened is that i, I mean we moved down we tested the 9790 level again like um like i told you that we would and boom we hit the 161.8 uh retracement of the last leg down let the last leg down is um from this high at or this test at the 9770 to this low at and, and retest of the 9704 so basically we are still bullish on the us dollar right above 9770 and uh, we expect a pullback uh on this level for a break 
above the 98.30 level which is this high right here yeah we are still bullish on the us dollar and we're going to go back to our terminal uh, because we are going to have a look at what has happened on our us dollar yen position now our us dollar yen position i mean uh let me thicken this graph out for you guys we were moving in a, in a bearish structure and we saw some bullish activity around the lows and what we did here is uh if you remember well if you are a, a premium member we uh we were looking at this uh triangle formation at these lows this was a very high volume zone and what we did here is that we went long on the on the 16th exactly right here at 109.80 and the reason we went long at 109.80 is because we were looking for this reversal or this trend reversal all right and uh, the reason we were looking for this trend reversal is because we were looking at the US dollar breaking above the 9770 level, which is the key in in our analysis. The 9770 level, I mean the US dollar breaking above the 9770 level, not being capped anymore by the 9770 level, would ha I mean it did have I would have in, in that moment I said would have a very bullish reaction on the US dollar versus the Japanese yen. All right, and what happened is that we broke above and it has been a slow trade but now you can see that uh, i mean uh, it really it's really started starting to run to the upside and we are going to be actually taking profits right here at the 11065 level um we're going to take half off and then we are going to keep our long trade running but uh, on the past daily shows or uh, daily edges, we were talking about this green zone. Let me thicken this out for you again. This green area right here. If you follow our show, you already know about this green area. And we were discussing the possibility of a retest and a continuation. The reason we didn't take uh, uh, our scale in on our trade is because that was way too close to our entry and that would affect, I mean, uh, because it was so close to our entry, that would have been effectively just doubling our risk. All right, so we didn't scale in, but now price is just moving up. And that close, that hourly, that four, this four hour close is so, so bullish, guys. Uh, it's insane how bullish this four hour close is. Uh, we closed, uh, not only we closed above the, um, the channels uh, resistance, but we closed above the previous highs and we closed, uh, close, um, um, well, we close, close, <laughs> to this area of the pre or our pre uh, our next area of our resistance all right now we're moving up we are about to hit our first target in uh, eight, seven eight pips uh, which is excellent and we will be taking half of our trade-off uh, so if you want to join the premiums the premium um, if you want to join the premium community at trading room you just have to um, well, I'm going to leave you on the chat uh, a um, a trial, one month trial, and if you're watching this on YouTube, well, you can find the trial in the description on this video. Now, let's have a, let's take a look at gold and what has happened in gold. And uh, as uh, promised, promised, not as promised, but uh, I mean, yesterday we were looking at gold uh, trading in this uh, area, the 1275 level, around the 1275 level. And uh, let's go to the daily chart and uh, let's draw this uh, long term trend line again. All right. This super long trend line. And as you can see, we have uh, actually broken with this trend line. Let me just eliminate this booms and uh, we have just broken with this trend on guys and that is a big 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 deal because um well because this is a very strong trend line that has been tested and retested countless times and now we are breaking with it but for me to even consider a short uh um well a midterm short position in gold 
I would have, I mean, price would have to break below the 1269 level, which is this very strong level right here that we have bounced from uh, two times already and that I have uh, marked with this great rectangle. All right. Now, uh, if uh, we manage to break with uh, this level and the trend line, this could turn bearish very quickly. And not only bearish very quickly, but very strongly. Because the next level that I look at, if we break with the 1269 level, is the 1235 level. Now, let me just uh, put the right parameters on uh, this. Boom. That's right. This is the level that I'm looking at for a uh, possible. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, for a possible um, well for a possible retest I'm sorry about that um, I was daydreaming Valores por, uh, yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to see if this confluences with the 61.8 and it confluences perfectly with the 61.8 retracement of the entire move to the upside so uh, if we if we finally break with this level and the trend line i'm going to be looking for a uh, retest of this previously broken level for a continuation and this would be an awesome risk to reward uh well a big risk to reward scenario where a, a small risk versus the reward the uh, a great risk versus the reward scenario and uh, uh, I mean, um, we would definitely be taking this trade. Um, again, if you're looking at this a, uh, in YouTube, uh, the description a, or a, the one month trial is in the description of this video. And uh, if you're if you're watching us live, then uh, you can get all my trade ideas, the exact levels of uh, I enter the market, the stop losses, and uh, the um, are the targets uh, with the one month trial that I have left on this um, on the chat all right so basically this is what I'm looking at this is going to be a very short uh, daily edge today guys because I mean we don't have a big audience right now uh, but a big announcement the trading competition is now on and uh, I'm going to leave you uh, the page where you can register we have amazing prices ranging from cash prices we have uh, I mean uh, you can win one year um, licenses for uh, this exact news terminal for this exact news terminal uh, that's a 600 pound uh, um, value and you can also win uh, um, edge wonk journals licenses all right um the the competition runs for one month and um the um the competition starts on jan on june on june the third on monday june the third so uh if you're watching this on youtube i'm going to leave a link for the competition registration on the um on the on the bottom of this video and uh well uh i'm going to be making a video when uh, uh or after theresa may um after theresa may's uh speech uh in parliament all right guys thank you for joining us and i'll see you guys tomorrow